Hey, welcome back. Today we are putting together this Uplift Desk 3 drawer file cabinet. It is an easy assembly. It shouldn't take too long, but it comes with everything here except for the screwdriver. And in the box, you will also find the instruction manual right here. Um, it is good to follow the instruction manual. Look at this part. Make sure you got all the parts and pieces that you need. This is the STR003 3 drawer file cabinet from Uplift Desk. And we're gonna get started. So let's see what we have here. The screwdriver is, is mine, but this is the um, file thing. We'll go put this to the side. This is also a little tray that comes along with it. We're gonna put this to the side too. And we'll get that to that later. Um, it's also a locking cabinet, so those are the keys. It comes in this little yellow bag. We'll, we'll put this to the side for now as we don't need it. And now, let's just get started. There are four wheels. It comes with this little tool. And this little tool is for the for this wheel right here. And that's gonna be put right there. But And then these two wheels, it's locking right here. You have to watch it. These two locking wheels need to come for these two. These two are not locking. They need to go in the back. This is the front, as this is where we can open and close the door. All right. Let's start with the back. We'll go ahead and put the back. I laid everything out. You see all the screws there. So that's what that's for. Get your screwdriver. And if you had a, and it doesn't matter how these go in, you just need to put them in. If I had a drill, this would go a little, a little bit faster, especially with an extended drill. But we'll see how long this takes without a drill. This is just a regular screwdriver, which most people should have one. Get all, all these screws in. There we go. Turn that around so I can reach the other holes. Let's see how fast I can turn this. Let's race to see how fast I can get this assembled. Should be pretty quick. I got that wheel in. Let's make sure we do final tightening on all of them. Good part of this screw is you could actually use a Phillips screw too. You don't have to use, I mean, a, a flathead screwdriver. You don't have to use the flathead or the cross head screw, whichever you call the term for that. Well, that's that wheel. Let's do the next one right over here. Get my next four screws. I'm gonna put this in. My guess is I'll finish this whole thing in a few minutes from now. It shouldn't take that long. Most of it is just turning the screwdriver in counterclockwise. This will be faster with my drill, but This is also loose. All right, hand tightening them all. Good. 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 Got those four there. Now remember the locking needs to go in the front, so we're gonna put the two. Locking wheels up here. And while I'm doing this step, Go ahead and put in four. Right here too.
Let's see if I go ahead and zoom in on that so you can see and take a closer look. Let's see. There you go, just a little closer look at what I'm doing. These four are in here. I'm gonna just tighten these up. There we go. So, depending on what tools you have, I'm gonna finish this under 10 minutes. Shouldn't take that long to assemble, so it's quick and easy. And all we're doing is putting in the wheels. Remember, the locking has to go in front, otherwise, you might not ever find it again. You put it in the back. And I like hand tightening because I can feel how tight I make these screws. one there we go those are the four more screws and then there's one more and this is why good engineering and good design this little front one goes in this little front drawer right here and we will open that and put this in and this so then tilt forward when you have that front drawer in or have stuff heavily loaded to it and also helps helps to the while the most bottom drawer is out. I'm just screwing that in. So, getting that in. And then now uh, we're just gonna use a tool that came with it and just tighten it. That's all I'm doing. Just tightening this. There you go. And that goes right there. Now we are done with that. Let me zoom out again. And let's start flipping this over. It's made of complete metal. Don't want to hurt my back, so slowly flipping it over. There you go. Make sure the wheels are unlocked. There you go. And nice rolling the wheels. This is why we need to put this in the front, is because of those. Here's the drawer. This will probably just go right in here. That. And this is where the hang files. We'll put this in here. Probably. Not. We'll adjust that later as I put in the files in. And then the key, which came in this jello packet, comes in here. And it will lock all of them like that. Take this and unlock, and it will unlock all of them. There you go. Soft close, so you can push. It won't make too much of a noise. There you go. There you go. Yes, very, very nice file cabinet. Anyways. See below for the link, subscribe if you like my videos, and I will show you where you can also buy one. All right, have a good day. I'm looking, this took me about 10 minutes or less using just a regular screwdriver. All right, have a good day.